Hello and welcome to tutorial on for loops in assembly. And so in this tutorial we'll write a, an assembly function which will find the smallest element in the array using a for loop. And here's the C implementation and we will do the same in the assembly. So let me copy paste uh, or I think no, it's easy code anyway so Anyway, so let's start with the assembly. So these things I have prepared, this and try and leave. So I will write less extra stuff and just proceed with logic stuff. And first thing we need is the pointer to array. This thing. Now we need to retrieve it into anything that is not EAX because EAX is the return value so we don't want to mess it up EBP is our array pointer and another thing we want to do is we want to set our iteration variable and people usually, usually use ESI for that for iteration and by doing so, I have i equals to zero. So ESI is my i, and by XORing it with itself, now ESI, in the ESI we have stored zero. So that's uh, first stuff done. So that's kind of up to this thing is done. Now I want to do this one. So assign my zeros index into EAX so EAX is smallest variable in smallest is EAX in my case because that's what I'm returning um, so how do I do that is I now I need to access array and here's how you do it you write move well as usual but instead of dereferencing like this, you do some extra stuff. So EBX, this means, let me write a comment. Basically in uh, C you write something like this and then you input index. And here's the index number. In assembly, this is the pointer, like this one, and then here you put the index, so ESI, but I, in, awesome, in C we have I. But also there is one extra thing you need to specify. Uh, since pointers to stuff have, are different, I can have pointer to chargers and pointer to pointers to integers. Uh, they have different sizes and then you need to specify to what are you accessing. The size of what are you accessing. So in this case we have char uh, array of integers and that's why since integers are 4 bytes we put here 4 so this is my pointer to array this is my index and this uh, specifies the type of variable and now I'm storing this into EAX so what I did now is basically as I assigned to EAX the zeroth element so EAX is the return value and it is hence smallest which co basically EAX corresponds to what we have in C there and since we already accessed the zeros element uh, we would want to increment the ESI so basically in the for loop we start with when index equals to 1 because we already have the zeros element retrieved. So this is I++ and from here on we will start the for loop. So I will need a jump point here. So now I'm just comparing I, I'm writing kind of the same but with compare so this way I compare the next element of CRA with EAX and 
this is now next element because I already incremented ESI back here. So ESI, if here ESI was zero since we did this, now since we incremented ESI, now ESI is one, so we are accessing the first element in this case. And we compare them. So what we want to do now, we want to upgrade EAX. We want to upgrade EAX in case EAX is larger than this one. So uh, that means that so what compare does it subtract from ESI the this thing. And if the result is negative, it means that this is smaller. And if you write something like jump if less to L1, we will skip this instruction. So EAX will not be upgraded in case EAX is already less than the error element in the array. And hence uh, we only put thing in the EAX only if EAX is greater than that element. And now we write part which makes the loop. So what we are going to do now is this part, increment i. Increment ESI. So this is the i++ part of the for loop. And now we need to compare this with our length. As you can see, we have if i is less than length. And since uh, this is a complex uh, instruction format, instruction set, we can access uh, memory variables and perform arithmetic operations on them. So that's what we kind of did here. We don't need to uh, put the length into any register. We can compare it memory with register. So I will just write um, 12 EBP. This is length, the second variable and I will compare this with ESI. So in case ESI is less than this, jump if less to L0. So basically the, now I wrote this part. this part of the for loop is these two lines and let's now execute to make sure it works um, oops the dot here we don't need dot there there so we traverse the array and the smallest number is 9 of course that's actually the only number with negative value so I would easily check that the function works. Let me change and let's make 46 with minus. And we see it works again. So let's summarize what we did. So first of all, we retrieved the pointer to array into EBX. Then we set up our iteration variable ESI. And uh, then we retrieved retrieved the first element into our return value of the array and incremented ESI so we would start our for loop when ESI is already 1. Like we don't want to repeat this and that's why. Although it's possible to do all... Actually this code is possible to write many other ways but this is what I wrote so and uh, what we did then is we upgraded EAX only if the element in the array was less than EAX. But if it was not, 
If it was not, then we skipped over this line, we just jumped to L1, we jumped to here, and we did our for loop stuff. And jumped to our for loop in case our iteration variable was less than length. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.